Hey guys, beautiful day here at minus 31 here in the wild north. And we're just starting production on Fur Harvesters NWT season two. So we're just gonna give you a little update on here on what to expect here when this comes out October 2015. It's perfect. Much too complex. It's always too complex. Much too complex. We have Mike, the other cameraman. He just put seven GoPros on the skidoo and took down the trail to show you guys what it feels like to be on the skidoo with Andrew Stanley from seven different angles. Y'all smash the muffin. It's too complex. But I wanted to show you guys a little bit of how the show is really filmed. There's no screenwriters. There's no. There's no uh, makeup artist. <laughs> right, Stanley? You betcha. Like my speech is blinded, my sight is slurred. It's too complex. I ball before I fall. Call before I stall. See, I crawl before I sprawl. I'm addicted to getting laced and hooked. This is where the four of us stay at long, long periods of time. It's a nice space, you know. But, you know, four guys in a cabin, it gets a little bit annoying after a while. So we got an office desk right here. My laptop to go here. We got a flat end screen. So we can do editing and review footage to see what we got and what we didn't get. We got two generators powering this whole thing. We have seven cameras right behind you on the countertop. Uh, every, every case is open. We, we work through it. Uh, we got, I don't know, about 11 GoPros. We have four or five production cameras. We have two or three handheld camcorders. We have two DS DSLRs, we have two sliders, we got four tripods, just to give you an idea what kind of equipment that we have to log around while we're, you know, hitting a 55 mile trail running the lines to show you guys what Fur Harvester is all about. Right here is as real as it gets. Handwritten notes on the wall for, for the whole team to see. So we have Monday. We have a rough schedule of what we're gonna film that day and all the shots we wanna do. Sunday, what we're gonna do that day and all the shots we wanna do and same for Saturday. And that basically makes the whole episode. Uh, right now we're, we're in the middle of winter so we don't get that much of sunlight. We have about six hours of daylight to shoot a proper show. So that sun goes down at about 4.30 p.m. And after that, we're in this cabin making dinner, watching the footage, dumping everything. So by the time we film everything in, in six hours, it takes about four to five to six hours to dump and back up footage on the laptop. Um, and then we set Andrew right here and grill him for the interviews for the episodes like you guys see. So here's Mike. He's back with, with all the GoPros. Now he's going to take all of those off. And I'm the guy who has to watch everything and log everything and dump everything. It gets a little bit too much, but not a big deal. We were talking about him earlier, how he had all the GoPros uh, bolted onto the ski -Doo, so he's got... Where's the other one? Well, I took, yeah, I just changed this one around. I just changed position, so I had it up on the handlebar. I had it up on the windscreen, and then I've uh, now mounted it down on the shock mount. Uh, so what'd you just do? Like, give, give, get, you know, give the viewer... This is kind of behind the scenes. Yeah, basically what I did was I mounted the GoPro in various locations so that I could catch some action shots that, you know, you probably wouldn't see unless I attached this GoPro to something really cool. Stones and stuff, it takes them to a place A type of lonely bluff, my man but why the face Been getting by for years, wearing the child's clothes Unseen by eyes and ears, I'm throwing wild blows but I know you're on board, I'm feeling all the same. I say we cut the cord, ignite a taller flame. Holy fuck, what a learning experience from these guys, I tell you. My, uh, I'm just learning, this is just great. Watching these guys work and their little techniques is, uh, you know, it's priceless, man.